can you break down a little bit what actually is happening as you transfer your load um, with the jab as you're going backwards? Yeah. If we're trying, going backwards, guys, is something most boxers don't talk about. Mm. Um, what if you're getting pushed against the ropes? Right. And you're still needing to use your jab. Right. And you're still needing to figure out how you're going to get out of that situation. Right. How do you continue to dissociate, use your nervous system to reflexively jab while you're moving backwards? That's a right. very difficult thing to do. Right. And I want Coach to go over that with yeah. us today. Okay. Now, if you're backing up, like you said, he put, he's backing me up, he's putting me on the rope. So, first thing is, if a proper jab looks like this, okay. right? He's driving me. This is a proper jab, okay? And, but he's driving me on the rope. So if I put my back on the rope, can I have a proper jab? No, because I don't have the spring. I don't have the kickstand. I don't have the spring to, to, to back this up. So once I, get, once I get close to the rope, I put my shoulder on the rope. I don't put my back on the rope. Put my shoulder. This way, I can throw even just a short jab, but from the kickstand, from the, from the spring. So pop shoulder on the rope just like that so now my weight is still here and here but I can generate anytime I want short power long power but it's still a quick snap I still get that general snap off like this I can't get the general snap because there's no there's no kickstand I'm flat so most likely he's gonna drive me I'm on my heels I'm on the rope you know some people I guess you want to rope a dope but everybody can't rope a dope so you turn, turn your shoulder, shoulder on the rope, and I can still get that snap anytime I want. So how, if I'm, if I'm uh, moving towards you, mm -hmm. how are you still throwing your punch uh, or your jab or whatever right. while I'm moving at you? Because is there, this, is, this there... is my spring. This is my spring. So this, so this gives me anytime, it gives me explosion anytime. Got it. So, how do you how do you use that? Can you can we do like a little bit of a mm -hmm. of a example of how you get that spring movement? Right. So, if I'm if I'm moving at you, right. and I'm so moving at you, if you see my back my back heel is off the ground. So the back heel is off the ground. Right. Okay. And, and then, then this is my spring. So anytime this is like my shocker, like uh, you know, I can always a buffer. Anytime he drives back, I could drive back, but I can still keep this, the short spring if I need it. I can retreat and spring, retreat and spring, retreat and spring, you know? Got it. Now, the other important thing about fighting backwards is most fighters, when they say, like, well, if you get an opponent and you say he can't fight going backwards, we got to back him up. Because he wants to throw power, stepping back. Can you throw What's power, stepping back? This is something I've always wanted to ask. Right. Can you do that? You can't throw a strong knockout power, like torque power, but you can still <coughs> snap backwards even better sometimes. Some people gotta can step back and snap and still catch you with a Are you thing. using more of your shoulder or are you using your leg there? Let's take a look at that. Right. So as he's pat, punt, is he moving backwards, let's see what's actually happening. Actually, he's kind of using a, he, again, he's using his thoracic spine more and he's just using a stable base here. There's no whipping action happening yeah. at his knee. 